represent it. Right now, if you listen to Yuval Noah, Klaus Schwab, Bill Gates, they are all sounding as if they've already won humanity. But I want everybody to understand, there will be a great reset. They are planning Agenda 3030. By Agenda 3030, we should all own nothing and be happy. But we're fighting back, and humanity needs to continue fighting. They, they didn't realize that we were going to stand up and fight this much. But there will be a great reset. If you read the book of Revelation to the end, you will realize that the great reset is going to be done by God. So I don't want people to be fearful. I don't want people to be to be to think that oh everything is going to come exactly. Down. Satan went. Yes. Satan thinks he's winning in the third quarter, mm -hmm. but he all he loses in the end. Yes, and, and you can't deny. Two thousand years ago, John on the Isle of Patmos Stop has a it. vision with an angel, and it's all happening. It's happening. It's, it's all happening. If you read in Daniel, if, because we're doing, like, we have a Twitter space that we do. I don't trust Twitter, but right now we use it for as much sure, as we yeah. use it. You know what I'm saying? We have a Twitter space we do reading the book of Daniel and Revelation on, on Twitter. You can you can join me on that. What My grandfather <laughs> always told me, and he was a big theologian, is mm -hmm. Daniel is, and, it's, and then Old Testament, New Testament, it happens. It's all one book. It's all one book. If you look at, in the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 2, from like verse 42, 41 to 43, it talks about a time is going to come where there will be a mingling of seed, where they, they, that they will mingle themselves with the seed of man. So I try to let human beings know that we're fighting Satan. We're fighting people that are not human. And whenever I say that, like, oh, Dr. Stella, why would you say something so crazy? You've all know I'm saying it, that they are producing bodies that are not human that are inert and they're going to take over they've the been world. making clones a yes, long time they they've been making clones for a long time if you read in revelation chapter 13 verse 14 and 15 it said the devil would deceive the people in the world and they will be able to make images onto the devil well, thing. hitler was able to clone rabbits in 44 by the 70s i covered it when i was on air in the 90s mm -hmm. it was in mainline medical literature that they'd already been cloning humanoids that are a whole yes. bunch of splice genes that aren't a person then they implant them in women or they mm -hmm. use cows yes and they're rolling them out giving them identities and, and they're everywhere mm -hmm. so right now so they don't have souls do they no they don't have souls if you if you so what are they they're like a replicant, right? Like Blade Runner. Yes, they are actually they are clones. They are nephilims. In the in the book of Genesis, the nephilims demons came and slept with women, and they produced these hybrids. But right now, they are not doing that. They are just fixing them up in the lab. You know, uh, if you read in Revelation 13, the Bible says, Revelation 13, 14, and 15, it said. The devil will deceive the people of the world and they will produce images onto the devil and the devil will give them life, give breath to these images. These images will be able to... Which is a digital this. image. Yes. Yeah, so it's a, so it's all can, super advanced. Yes. Yeah, so these AIs, they are all around us. The Lord showed me this in 2015 that they were all around us. Alex, I'm a prayer warrior. Every now and then I blow them up in the spirit. I want to tell Christians, remember, these are demons. Don't worry about them at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee bows. So sometimes I will be attacked in the spirit and I will come out and will call the fire of the Holy Ghost and the blood of Jesus. I, say, I command you to blow up and they will blow up. So I want people to realize you can fight these powers by the name of Jesus. Don't be scared. If you're in a situation that you feel comfortable, just call on the name of Jesus and these demons will bow because that is what happens. But what you're saying is so true because I remember reading like in MIT Quarterly 30 years ago when I was first about to go on air mm -hmm. that they'd made human animal clones and like made babies out of five adults and they weren't really human. What were they? But don't worry, we got rid of them in the test tube. And then I talked to people involved in the government. They said, no, they have given them identities. They've rolled them out, mm -hmm. but they're missing something. And there's literally replicants like the movie Blade Runner. Mm -hmm. By the time that movie came out in 1984, there were already real replicants. Yes, if you there's a movie called um, Sixth Day, Sixth Day by Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. yeah. where he goes out by the time he comes, they've cloned him and somebody else is in, his, is in his house. People have to recognize. I mean, they can clone anybody. Some of these, they, they, they actually have bodies that they have that when they clone them. Remember, Elon Musk said something that would be the right sequencing that can turn anybody into a freaking butterfly. So they can actually clone bodies and then just modify it and splice it and change their look and then they knock the person out. But because it's not a genetic line of humans under mm -hmm. God, it's not doesn't get a soul. They don't have a soul. And because they don't have a soul, they do the most evil things. Because they don't have a soul, they don't mind going to to school. So they're genetically engineered psychopaths. They're genetic engineered psychopaths. Hold, hold on right there. Humans. Wow, this is powerful. Mm-hmm.